Good day! So ituloy natin yung discussion natin on U substitution or integration using substitution. And now we will take a look at some examples. So continuing integration by substitution, we look at four examples. And what I want you to do, no? so apat to, what I want you to do is after all these four problems appear on screen, I want you to pause the video and give yourself time to use yung natutunan nyo dun sa una nating discussion at subukan siyang sagutan. So pause this video, try it out, and let's see if we'll have the same answers. We'll compare our answers. Welcome back. Let's compare our solutions. So first problem, we want to find the antiderivative of the quantity x squared plus 1 times the quantity x cubed plus 3x raised to the fourth power. Now, pwede naman natin siyang i-expand, no? Expand natin yung expansion no, to the fourth, tas i-multiply natin x squared plus 1, and we will get a polynomial, tas pwede natin gamitan ng power rule. Pero medyo unwieldy yun, tsaka ang hassle kung una magbabinomial expansion pa tayo, tas mag-multiply pa tayo ng another binomial sa kanya. We could instead use integration by substitution. So, where do we start? I think our suspicions no, should be aroused by seeing that x cubed plus 3x, yung quantity na yan, nasa loob siya ng parenthesis na nire-raise pa siya to another power. So, it is an inner expression, an inner function. And that gives us a hint that it could be a good candidate na i-assign kay u. So, we let u be equal to x cubed plus 3x. Okay, so we let u be equal to x cubed plus 3x. Taking the derivative, we'll find that du is equal to 3x cubed plus 3. Then d over dx yun. Then ilipat natin yung dx sa right side. And, well, we could factor out c3, no? To say that this is equal to 3 times the quantity x squared plus 1 dx. And, of course, it's very convenient na meron na tayong factor na x squared plus 1 na nakaabang sa atin sa taas. So, having listed down our variables na gagamitin natin for our substitution, let's go ahead and do the substitutions. So, we could write our original integral as follows. Rearranging, muna natin yung factors. We'll have x cubed plus 3x, the uh, quantity raised to the fourth power, times x squared plus 1, dx. And we know na yung du ay 3 times x squared plus 1, dx. Wala naman tayong 3, so mag-introduce tayo ng 3, and kailangan natin tanggalin yung effect niya by multiplying one-third sa labas. So now we're ready to do the substitution. So u is equal to x cubed plus 3x. So our expression will be equal to one-third times the integral of u to the fourth power. And since du natin is 3 times x squared plus 1, du na lang yung natitirang expression dun sa kanan ng integral. Moving on, this is equal to one-third times u to the 5th over 5 plus c. Kasi diretso na natin pwedeng gamitan ng power rule. And after this, kailangan natin bumalik sa ating original variable na x. So we do some back substitution and this is equal to the quantity x plus 3x raised to the 5th power all over 15, 3 times 5 plus a constant. So I hope pareho tayo ng final answer. Let's just highlight this and let's move on to the next item. So for the second item, we want to find the antiderivative or the, or the indefinite integral of x over the square root of x plus 3. Again, in identifying u, naghahanap tayo ng expression or function na nasa loob. At yung candidate natin dito ay yung nasa loob ng square root x plus 3. So we let u be equal to x plus 3. And ano yung du natin? Well, ang derivative na x plus 3 ay 1. So, du natin ay dx lang din. Okay lang yun. Hindi kailangan palaging yung du natin is some complicated expression multiply kay dx. It's possible that du is just equal to dx in this case. So, rewriting our integral. Oops. Let's take note pala, no? That if u is equal to x plus 3, then that means x is equal to u minus 3. Makita natin mamaya kung bakit natin sinulat yan. Okay, so this is our original expression. This is equal to, oy, 
x yung numerator eh. And x is equal to u minus 3. So that will have to be part of the substitution as well. Hindi lang natin yung x plus 3, hindi lang siya yung gagawing u. Lahat nung other x variables, kahit hindi sila necessarily x plus 3, kailangan din natin silang ma-convert kay u. Kaya minsan, it's helpful to identify kung what is x with respect to u. So here, x is equal to u minus 3, and we're able to replace the numerator. Denominator, as expected, square root of u, du. And what do we do in this case? Well, pag dinistribute natin yung denominator dun sa dalawang terms ng numerator, we'll get something like this. And we could now proceed to the power rule. But first, we have to note down that this is equivalent to u raised to 1 half minus 3 raised to negative 1 half. Yan yung kukuha na natin na antiderivative. Pero pwede na natin gamitan ng power rule. So that is equal to u raised to 3 halves times reciprocal 2 thirds minus u raised to 1 half reciprocal 2 times yung 3 pa rin, plus our constant of integration. And we just do the final step of doing some back substitution. Okay? So, binalik natin si u papuntang x plus 3. So, I hope again, ginawa nyo siya kanina at comparing our answers now, medyo pareho tayo. Kung hindi man, alam nyo kung saan kayo nagkaroon ng miscalculation. Moving on to the next item. Again naman natin ang konting trigonometry. Our third item is we're looking for the integral of secant cube x times tangent x. Again, we're looking for a candidate for u. And since yung secant nakaraysa to the third power, that is a good candidate for, for u. Kasi siya yung may additional operation na ginagawa sa kanya. Eh. Nire-raise pa siya to a power. Eh. So we let u be equal to secant x. u is equal to secant x. What is the derivative of secant? It's secant tangent. So du natin, or du over dx, secant tangent. So du is equal to secant tangent times dx. Now, what does this mean? Or how do we proceed from this? Kailangan natin may du. At si du, nag-require siya ng isang secant at ng isang tangent. Dun sa ating integrand, dun sa given natin, meron tayong tatlong secant at isang tangent. So, yung isa dun sa tatlong secant, ibibigay na natin para maging part siya ni du. What will that look like? So, rewrite natin. These are given. This is equal to secant squared x times secant x tangent x dx. So, hiniwalay natin yung secant cube into secant squared times secant para lang magkaroon tayo ng secant tangent na factor, na expression. And then, we are ready to do our substitutions. This is equal to the integral of u squared du. Kasi u is secant and du is secant tangent dx. At, at this point, ang dali na niyang i-integrate kasi it's now in a familiar form. Pwede natin gamitan ng power rule. This is equal to 1 third times u cubed plus c. The last step is back substitution. Ibabalik natin yung u dun sa kung ano mga expression na may x. And since u is equal to secant x, our final answer is 1 third secant cube x plus our constant of integration. So I hope na again, pareho tayo ng naging final answer. Kung hindi, please go through your solutions again and make sure na we'll arrive at the same location. So kung okay na, let's proceed to our last item for this video. Lagyan naman natin ng konting exponential. So we're looking for the antiderivative of 5 raised to x times sine of 5 raised to x. So again, nag identify tayo ng candidate na expression na assign natin kay u. Makikita natin na si 5 raised to x nasa loob siya ni sine. So, it's inside another expression or function. So, that is a good candidate for u. So, we say that u is equal to 5 raised to x. Ano yung derivative ng constant raised to x? That is equal to ln of the constant times 5 raised to x again. And let's not forget the dx. So, let's begin by rewriting our given in such a way na yung kailangan katabi ni dx ay katabi ni dx. So, I'm writing it as the, as the integral of sine of 5 raised to x times 5 raised to x dx. Pinag-switch ko lang yung dalawang factors. Kasi, looking at yung du, 
kailangan natin na yung DUI may ln of 5 pa na factor. Now, ln of 5 is just a constant, so pwede natin siyang ipasok dyan at i-cancel sa labas. 1 over ln of 5, malagay natin sa labas. Then, we do the substitution. This is equal to 1 over ln of 5 times the integral of sine u. Then, yung dx natin, du na siya. The integral of sine is negative cosine. And let's not forget the constant of integration. And then, let's just do some back substitution. So this is equal to negative 1 over ln of 5 times cosine of 5 raised to x plus our constant of integration. And that's it. We will just highlight this as our final answer. And ito na yung sagot dun sa final problem. So again, I hope that you actually did the work at sinagutan nyo siya. And now, at this point, you are just comparing your answers with what we've got. And I do hope that for all of our problems, pareho tayo ng naging sagot. Kung hindi man, feel free na balikan yung examples na to. So that's it muna for this video, for this set of examples. There's another video with more examples. This time, titingin naman tayo ng definite integrals. Ito kasi lahat to, di ba? Uh, Antiderivatives or indefinite integrals. So how does u substitution look like pag definite integrals na yung ginagamita natin ng technique na to? So we'll see that sa next video. But for now, salamat sa pakikinig.